Hi, okay, today let's talk about something that I genuinely love, which is the whole 90s era. We're gonna talk about 90s outfits and my favorite ones that I've worn. Honestly, I feel like I'm so inspired by the 90s, whether it's 90s makeup, 90s clothes, 90s trends, 90s outfits, 90s pants, 90s shirts, 90s everything. Can I live in the 90s? Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I figured we would talk through some of my favorite outfits that I've worn and I'm going to open up my album wherein I have a couple of my favorite 90s outfits and we're gonna talk through them, whether they're a 90s outfit or a 2000s outfit because there's a little bit of confusion. Is Y2K part of the 90s or the 2000s? Really, I feel like Y2K was the late 90s and early 2000s, but I think it's up for debate. So we're gonna chat about whether what I'm wearing is actually a 90s outfit or a 2000s, mostly it's going to be 90s, and we'll get to it. So let's get to outfit number one. Where hims go? I can't find hims. Hello? Oh, here hims. For this outfit, I think that it is definitely a 90s outfit. Crop sweaters were a huge part of the 90s. I'll insert some reference images here. But the way that I paired a crop sweater with high-waisted pants, another huge thing of the 90s, indicates that this is, yes, a Y2K outfit, but one probably of the later 90s. I think my favorite part of this outfit is the amount of color that I was able to bring into it, even though it is a lot of the neutrals. Neutrals were more 90s and colors were more white, like 2000s. And even later 2000s, things got really colorful and like that's when we started seeing a little bit more dopamine dressing and stuff like that. But yeah, so I like that this is a good combination between both, but you still have a lot of the 90s elements like the short sweater and the high-waisted pants. Um, and then just a little of that 2000s with the orange bag, orange glasses, and yellow tank top. For details, the crop sweater is by Twin Set. I got it from Ukes. The tank top was by Entire World. The high-waisted pants were also from Ukes. The bag is by JW Pie, the necklace is Humans Before Handles, and the sunglasses are Urban Outfitters. Now let's move on to the second 90s inspired outfit that I love. It, is it vain to say that you love your own outfits? I feel like we spend so much energy and time creating them, like we should love them, no? I don't know. Anyways. So this one's really interesting because off-shoulder tops were another huge part of the 90s. This top can actually be worn, like you can bring the shoulders up and wear it like that, or you can wear it off shoulder, or maybe that's just how it fits on me, I don't know. But it is a little bit of a crop top. It's actually from Hollister, and I bought it when I was probably like 15 or 16, really young. I don't shop at Hollister really too much anymore, but this is, a, I think, a staple top that has just stayed in my wardrobe. Also, you see Millennial Pink here with the Emilio Pucci bag that I'm wearing. That's all actually a vintage hand-me-down. I would not be surprised if that like is from a 90s collection. My aunt handed it down to me and she's a very stylish lady. And um, yeah, she handed it to me when I was very young and I was like, I don't know what, what is this brand, whatever. But then I started using it, so yeah. When you think about the 90s, all things crop, that is, I think, a good way to think about the 90s. I think when it comes to millennial pink, I will say that that feels a little more 2000s, though I could be wrong. For outfit details for this one, the, again, top is from Hollister. The, I don't know where the bracelet is from. I know the second bracelet that I'm wearing is by Shashi NYC, the like white little band one. The bag is by Emilio Pucci, like I said, and the pants are also from Ukes. I love getting my pants from Ukes because they have really fun styles. I think they're by Juga Couture. The glasses are vintage YSL that I actually bought on Poshmark, and my earrings were Majuri. Okay, so this next one, the defining part of this outfit that makes it 90s is the bucket hat. Bucket hats were a 90s trend. They were not a 2000s trend, they were a 90s trend. Again, we have the inclusion of a crop top, but the one thing that makes it a little bit 2000s is that the pants are a little low-waisted. 90s were more the high-waisted pants, 2000s were the low-waisted pants. Though in 2000s, I feel like people wore low-waisted skinny jeans, which can we be honest, they, do not they are not flattering. At least for me, they are not flattering. And so let's walk through the details of this one. The crop tank that I'm wearing is by Beyond Yoga. The jeans are by Roberta Cavalli. 
The bag is a vintage Fendi for my late grandmother, so it's so special to me. And then, sunglasses are also vintage for my late grandmother. Earrings are by Beads by Ari, a beautiful black owned business that has the most, like just amazing creations. And the bucket has, it, the bucket hat is actually by Coco Kind, which is a skincare company. They had made merch and they sent me some, so yeah. Next outfit. This feels quite 90s because first thing we'll say is that it has neutrals, like it's that same crop sweater from the beginning, it's the twin set crop sweater, except this time I'm wearing it alone, I haven't added too many colors. Then I'm wearing high-waisted denim that is a little baggy, again 90s, baggy pants, 90s, tight pants, 2000s. The style of the bag is very baguette and that is a very 90s thing. Like I, I keep saying all these things are 90s, they're 90s, but genuinely like I think all these outfits I created with the 90s in mind, maybe a little bit of the 2000s because I was thinking more Y2K, but yeah, the baguette style bag, very 90s and also now is coming back. So I guess 2010s, I guess you can say. Also, the rings are very Y2K. Those I actually got on Amazon, like those chunky rings. So let's walk through the outfit details. The crop sweater is by Twin Set, like I said. The pants are from Le Gloss. The bag is actually a vintage Louis Vuitton, which I have worn so many times. The sunglasses are also my late grandmother's hand-me-down Chanel. She was a ratchet thief. Like, bro, she had the coolest stuff. I am so grateful. I got like, a, like just these couple of things. Honestly, I think in these outfits I've worn everything that I've gotten from her, mostly everything. But seriously, she had like the best thing. She would buy the most crazy fun things. And so they have like a little pearl on them. I feel like that's just so, that's like classy in a gangster way. Like. So cool. The rings were from Amazon. So that is the outfit. I believe that was the final one. So those are my 90s outfits for you guys. I hope that these inspired you to create some of your own 90s creations. I hope that you learned a little bit about 90s trends. I hope that you learned a little bit about 90s versus 2000s versus Y2K and kind of where that mix happened, but then kind of where it didn't. And I hope that you enjoyed. So I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!